Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Back here with the uh, last uh, two algorithms, whatever is left out, we'll complete that first, and uh, uh, we'll uh, see with other things later. Now coming to the class here in a decrease and conquer method. In a last class, what we have started with the, the decrease and the conquer method. In that first algorithm, we have discussed the insertion sort. And in the insertion sort, as we have taken an example of a PE teacher, sorry, making to stand the students in an height uh, format and he wants the uh, six members uh, tallest persons so how he is going to make uh, the students one by one comparative and then uh, uh, he will start like that so that example we have taken and we have gone with an algorithm of an insertion sort and then we have traced also that is how we are going to trace uh, first we'll take a first element of an uh, unsorted array and we'll compare with the second element if it that is less than we'll exchange otherwise uh, we'll consider that uh, two elements will compare with the third element we'll take three elements compare with the fourth element like that we'll keep on uh, making the places within that particular thing so we are decreasing we are decreasing the problem to the starting one uh, next to two next to three next to four members next to five members next to six members finally what we are going for an uh, n numbers of students that is n minus one numbers will be compared with the n uh, person so like that uh, the insertion sort has been worked and we have seen how a uh, um, decrease conquer method will work coming to the next uh, uh, the two traversals of an uh, uh, graph which we are going to take into the consideration that is in a depth first search and an a um, birth first search. So, what for this particular uh, um, uh, two uh, methods are there, or algorithms are there? That is, the algorithms uh, DFS and BFS is there to traverse around the graph, around the graph. Note this point. The graph is the one where uh, there are a V number of vertices and a E number of edges will be there. And uh, we will start at the given source vertex or first vertex of an a graph. And we'll visit all other vertices of an a graph and we'll come back to the uh, started vertex. So this DFS already we have discussed in a lab program how recursively um, using a stack method, how we are working out with an a, a DFS. Uh, algorithm and uh, how we are making a visited things uh, we will go deeper up till the leaf node and afterwards we will come back to the uh, parent node and we will see any unvisited vertices are there if it is there then we will go in that route like that um, we have seen using a stack uh, recursion method how a um, uh, uh, traversing you can do in a DFS method coming to the next uh, um, the BFS. BFS is in a birth first search. What do you mean by this birth first search? Here what we will do, we will take one uh, cube. Now uh, here we are not using any stack like that. We will use an, a cube. Oh, yeah, every cube will be there. What we will do, we will start with an uh, vertex first. So, which is in a first vertex, we will start that with that particular vertex and we will make that vertex visit as in a one. Later on, what we will do, we will see the adjacent of that particular vertex. We will go to the adjacent of that particular vertex and then we will uh, enqueue that or uh, transfer that adjacent vertex into the queue. And we will see from there any other adjacent uh, um, uh, means uh, edge means vertices are there so if yes the uh, other uh, uh, vertices are there means then we'll go with that particular vertices and we'll take that into the consideration so now taking that into the consideration uh, means we'll again put that into the queue and again we'll move further so, and while move while putting into the queue what we'll do we'll make a visit of that particular vertex as one initially all visits will be zero later on what we will do we'll make a visit of that vertex as an one like that we'll make and we'll keep on uh, uh, putting the uh, uh, nodes into the queue then afterwards what we will do after going to that particular node we will take out that from the queue and then we will go to the adjacent of that particular vertex 
then we will put that uh, adjacent vertices into the cube. Like this, we will keep on uh, uh, doing uh, in a BFS. Now, first, what we will do, we will go to the um, algorithm of uh, uh, the BFS and we will see how the BFS uh, will uh, work first. Later on, uh, we will go with an, a program flow or an algorithm flow and I will explain that also to you. Now, coming to the uh, thing here, the first one is, I will share uh, the ice scrub. Just a minute, first I will open that. Yeah, now back here with the uh, BFS uh, uh, sharing first, uh, which we'll uh, going to see. Now, I'll take a first graph. Uh, now I'll go with the uh, first. Uh, BFS, right? Right, BFS. Uh, in a BFS, first I'll take a graph. A, B, C, right? Um, that's what we have did. B, B, F. Right, and I remember uh, the things that is two, three, one. Remaining thing you tell me B to D, B to D, five, five, C to E, three. Three or two. Three or two. Two, sir. C to E. Huh? Two. Hello? Two, sir. Two. Next, D to E. One. Uh, one. one. D to F. One. One. E to F. Three. Eight. Yeah, right. Now, uh, we will take first uh, the, this one. Uh, yeah, one thing I want to tell you, why for BFS we need uh, the cost? We don't need right now. Hello? For DFS, we are not taking cost, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, see, yes, sir. I forgot. I'm confusing with uh, Kruskal. You know, you don't need a cost. Just a graph is enough for... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, just graph is enough. That means take off these values. You don't want that values. I'll rewrite the graph which you can see. Now, how you can do this, I means traverse, assume the source vertex is A, assume, assume the source vertex is A, and uh, we, are to, uh, we will take one uh, Q, initially the Q, oh, sorry, Q will be an uh, empty Q, right. Now what first we are going to do, first we will take A and make the visit initially, it will be zero, uh, for all the things, just for one minute. Sir, class a little bit, sir. Class a little bit, sir. Yeah, we are going to play a little bit. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Class a little bit, sir. Class a little bit. One hour, sir. Oh, sir. 
ಸರಿ ಸರ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಹಾಫ್ ಅನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸರ್ ಯಾರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಫ್ ಅನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇವರ್ ವಿದ್ ಲೆಸನ್ Uh, as we have started with an act tracing of this particular uh, uh, the bf algorithm now coming to the uh, uh, starting uh, we'll assume the source vertex as an a and initially all other uh, vertices first what we have to do and we will make that visited as an a zero uh, and uh, whatever the zero values will be there we will make that as an a large value that is a infinite value that is common here also now what we have to do here first thing uh, we will start with a and we'll see what are the adjacents of uh, uh, a first first according to the symmetric format and that's alphabetical format it will come for example i will tell you like this now if i take a um, a is already visited first we should make that as one right then what we have to do now we should start with the adjacents of a and a b now for sorry b and a c now for a two adjacent vertices are there that is b and a c now first what i will do i will consider sorry i will consider b first so why because in a alphabetical order in symmetric format we should consider always only that set the in, uh, in the computers also after zeroth vertex one vertex will come in a for loop wherever is it like that we will also consider like that now from one uh, what is the uh, next adjacent vertex that will be b now what i will do i will make uh, uh, b uh, i will transfer in q that b into the q and then i will go to the b and i will make make the visit of b as 1 now from b we'll check now uh, which are which are the adjacents of uh, b and uh, uh, means a and uh, uh, c now we'll check that particular thing uh, other one minute one minute just one minute yeah right now from a what is the other uh, sorry not to, we'll go to the b now from a a we should complete first a everything now for coming to the a now what is the another one uh, adjacent vertex is there the another one adjacent vertex is c so now what you have to do from a you will come to c note the point from a you will come to c now what you have to do you make c into the q and uh, you you come to the you uh, 
push that to the C. Now what you have to do, both the adjacent has been encoded into the Q. Now what you have to do, you should take out the first adjacent from the Q. That is important, take out. That is B. Now what from B you have to do, you make first B as an visit one. Now I have taken out B from the Q and I have made B as an visit one, everyone. Now what the next thing is there, next thing is there, from B, how many adjacents are there that you have to check. From B, A is the first adjacent which is already visited is 1, we have checked it. Now you can see uh, from uh, the another one is according to the symmetric, the C is there. Now the visit of C is 0, but, but, but the C is already there in a Q. So already there in a Q means once the vertex is already there in a Q means you can't enter another time. So this you have to make a note. So then what you have to do, what is another adjacent from B you have to take that. The another adjacent from B is D. Now transfer enqueued D to the Q. Right. So after enqueuing D to the Q, what you have to do? Um, uh, you have to check whether all the adjacents has been over. Yes, all the adjacents of B has been over. A, C and D. No other adjacents are there. Okay. Next, in a Q, what is the first uh, element is there? You have to delete that. So what is the first element? Here it is C. Now you take C. Now make C as 1. After making C as 1, what you have to do? Then you are, sorry. Then uh, from C, you should check how many adjacents are there. From C, as usual, the adjacent are A, B and E. Now A already visited, it's 1. B already is it visited, it's 1. E, E is there which is not visited, the value is um, 0. Now what we have to do, we have to enqueue E into the Q. Am I right? After enqueuing E yeah, into the Q, what you have to do, uh, you have to see any other adjacents are there. No, for C no adjacents are there. Then what you have to do? You have to take out the first element of the Q. In a Q, you delete. That means D you take. Now you make a visit of uh, uh, D as 1. From D, you check the adjacencies. From D, the adjacencies are B, E and F. Am I right? Now you check uh, for B. B is already 1. No need to touch at all. Come to next. E. E is already there in a Q. So we can't put the same element twice into the Q. Now come to the F. Now you can see um, F visit is 0. Then you add F to the Q. Now what you have to do? Uh, all adjacents are over. Now in a Q, which is a first element? E. You take the E as a first element. Now what you have to do? You make E visit as 1. Now for E, what are the adjacencies are there? You check. For E, the adjacencies are C, already visited. Next D, already visited. F, not visited, but F is there already in a Q. Uh, so no need to put again. Now you remove that. Now, uh, after removing this, now you check in a Q, which is there, F. For F, no adjacencies are, uh, sorry, adjacencies are there, D and E, which is, uh, D is already visited, E is already visited. Am I right? So, then F, also we have visited, make F as, well, visited as 1. Now, no elements are there in a Q. That means you have visited all the, all the, uh, vertices of the um, graph. That is how you have visited. You have visited starting from A, you have gone to B, then you came to C, uh, from uh, C you gone to D, then you gone to E, then uh, from uh, Am I right? E, right. From after visiting, uh, taking a E. So last one is F. You gone to F. Now, in this way, uh, you have traversed uh, um, the given graph. Sorry, this is. Right? Are you understood? Yes, sir. Are you understood? I will take another. Yes, sir. I will take another one graph. You will understand clearly. Now, here no stoppings will be there for you. Right. I'll take another one graph. Now you tell me uh, one graph. You tell me one graph. I'll take it as A, B, 
C D E F right and let it be G almost all done right now i will start i will take one cube right in exam how you have to do i will do like that uh, in exam you have to write consider a graph g for example so g you have to write after taking g consider a cube uh, q which is empty empty where where you have to write that where f is equal to 0 and r is equal to minus 1 are you considering everyone everyone getting Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is step number one. What step number two you have to do? Take a step number two. In step number two, consider, consider, they may give any source vertex in exam, or otherwise you can consider any of the vertex. Do you want to consider any other vertex other than A? Yes, sir. C. C. Okay. I will consider. Consider C uh, as source vertex. Right, everyone, are you getting? Consider C as source word text. Make, make visit of C as one. In first step, one in one side you should write initialize, initialize, initialize all vertices to. Uh, all vertices visit to zero. I lost of disturbance for me. Just a minute. I will switch off it. Now, uh, are you getting? Initialize all vertices visit to zero. That will come in the first step. In exam, you have to write like that. Next, consider C as a source vertex. Make a visit of C uh, as one. Right? Now, uh, you consider C here. And uh, visit will be one. And you consider Q again here. In exam, you have to write like that. Now, below you have to write. From C, from C, the adjacent adjacent vertices vertices are are now you should start with symmetrically a a b is also uh, a b c is already there next d d you can consider c also if you want means correct flow you will get a b c then d what else is there what else e. is it? E. E. That's, e. That's it. Correct, no? Now, from C, the adjacent vertices are A, B, C, D, E. Right. Everyone. Now, consider, consider the first adjacent A. In Q into the Q. Like that, you have to write. Now, what you have to do? You have to in Q. You have to in Q. That means... Uh, you should take a Q here again. You should transfer A here. Now what you have to show? Now you have to show R as 0, F as here. Are you getting everyone? Everyone getting? If you're not getting, you can stop me and ask me. Right. Now coming to the next adjacent uh, from the C is B. Now the visit of B is 0. Uh, you have to check the condition. That is very much important. The visit of B is 0. That means B is not yet visited. And B is not already there in a queue. For A also same thing. Visit to A before transferring A to the queue. What you have to do? Uh, you have to write here. The the visit of A is zero, right? No vertex, vertex in Q, in Q, in Q, A, right? Then this will come. Next, consider, observe carefully, consider next B, okay? Visit of B 
is zero right and b is not in q then nq nq b that is you add b here you have to write separately like this again a b now your r will be here f will be at here next what you have to this is second step what we are doing next what you have to do your b is over next you consider c that is c also you consider 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 c visit of c is 1 or you can write 1 like that sorry 1 no need to nq no need to nq next consider in exam you have to write like this consider d now visit of d is visit of d is zero right if it is zero and d is not in not in q q then what you have to do nq are you getting what i am doing huh everyone Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah. Now, what you have to do? You have to write NQ. 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 Uh, D into Q. That is A, B, D. Right now, what is where is R? 0, 1, 2. R is here and F is here. Am I right? Now, next, what you have to do? Consider E. Now, visit of E is 0, or you can write like this 0, and E is not in Q. Right? Then, NQ, NQ, E. Now, A, B, D, E. Now, 0, 1, 2, 3. R will be here, F will be here. Next, what you have to do? Getting? Now, all the, you have to write like this. All the adjacent, adjacent vertices from C is completed, completed, third step, next, now delete, delete or DQ, DQ the first vertex, sorry, vertex, vertex in Q that is A like that only you have to take A that is now C is there uh, A will come like this yeah A everyone A now what you have to do uh, A what uh, after taking this the a visit of A is one. You have to make that one. That is important. After making that as one, C is already one. If the, after making that, then what you have to do? Consider consider the adjacent adjacent vertices vertices of A. What are those for A? That is b uh, c and e right according to the order if you consider b c and e now what you have to do now consider first uh, consider b the visit of b is zero first condition is true and b is already already there in Q, Q, 
Like that only you have to write. Q. Write. We can't. We can't add. Add. Vertex. Same vertex. Sorry. Same vertex. Again. Then. Discard. B. Next. Consider. C. Same thing. You have to write. Next. Consider C is already visited, right? It's one. So discard that. Next, E. E is already in a queue. Don't consider that. Like that, you have to write. Now, third step is over. What is the fourth step? Fourth step is again you consider the queue. Now, what is what will be there in a queue here? That is important. What will be there in a queue? Now in a queue, B, D, E will be there. 0, 1, 2. R will be here and F will be here. Now what you have to do? Take out B. There you have to show A, like taking out here. Like this. Show like this. This will be good. F and R. Otherwise, you can make here 0 or you can make here 1, whatever you want, according to that. Now, take out B. Now, what you have to do? Here, you should take B. Now, now delete, delete R, DQ, DQ, the first element. That is B. You take out B. From B, you make first B visited as 1. Right now, how you are going to take uh, this? Uh, I will write a graph here. C, A, and then B will be like this. Yeah, B will be like this. Right now, take out B. After taking out B, you make this visits as one. Now, from B, what are the adjacents you check? From B, what are the adjacents? Now, adjacents are A. Uh, next, uh, B itself is there. You, go, you don't take anyway. C and then uh, D. Now all are there in a queue already. A is already visited, C is already visited, and D is there already in a queue. So again, you will leave all these things. Then what you are going to do in a fifth step, you are going to take again D. One minute. Yeah, in uh, in uh, fifth step, take Sir, ah. uh, when we are uh, deleting node. Hmm. Sir, we are taking that node as the source node. Then we are taking the adjacent nodes from there. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. The first element of the queue will be the source node again. From there, all adjacents will take any adjacents not visited, not in a queue means again we'll add to the queue. Correct. I will show, I will show. You will get now. Five. Now from five, you consider a present queue. What is a present queue? Present queue is D, E are only there. Right. F and R. Now what you have to do? You should consider D. After considering D, visit of D will be one. You should make that. Now how, you, how your graph will look? B, E, D. Now, 1, 1, 1, 1. Visited, we have made 1. Then what you have to do? Consider, consider the adjacent, adjacent vertices, sorry, vertices of D. What are the adjacent vertices of D? B, C, uh, B, C, and then uh, G, F. G, F. Correct, no? Now, first, you take B. First, consider B. You have to do like that. Consider sir, B. Sir. Ah. sir, it is showing in the same paper, sir. Sorry. Yeah, now, consider uh, B. You can't uh, see, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
I'll rewrite this step number five, right? Yeah, step number five. Cons the next thing in a Q, the Q will be like this. That is B and a E. Now F will be a R will be a. The first element will be D zero and one. Now what you have to do first uh, D Q or delete D from the Q. Consider D. Now you make visit of D is equal to one. Now how your graph will look? A, B and D. Now everything are coming from C. One, 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 one. You are made. Now then what you have to do? Consider. Consider the adjacent adjacent vertices vertices of uh, D. That is B comma C comma G comma F. Correct now. Now consider consider you have to write like that. Consider B. Visited of B is already one. Discard. Are you getting discard? That is. Next, consider C. Visited is already one. Discard. Next, observe carefully now. Consider G. Visited is zero. Zero. G is not there in a Q. That you have to keep in your mind. That is very much important. G is not there in a Q. If G is not there in a Q, see here. Visited. Visited of G is zero and G is not in Q. Then Excuse what? Me, sir. Ah. Uh, sir, if you need to take symmetric, then you need to consider uh, uh, vertex G first, the, uh, vertex F first, and then G. Oh, I am not taken symmetrically. Yeah, F only you take, not a problem. F only you take. E F G H. Uh, correct. Right. Not a problem. F only you take. Visit of F is zero and F is not in a Q. Am I right? That means in Q, in Q, F to Q. Now, how we have to do? This is important now. Take this and E will be at front. Now, F you have to in Q. Your R will be at here. That is important. This is important. Afterwards, what you have to do? Consider next G. Visited of G is zero and G is not in Q. Same. In Q, in Q, G to Q. That is, now your Q will be like this. E, F, G. Zero, one, two. Your R will be here and F will be here. Am I right? This is your fifth step. Go to again sixth step. That is important. Go to again sixth step. If you take big graph, it will take time. That's right. Then go to the sixth step. That is step six. Now, how is your Q now? First, you have to take Q. E, F, G. 1, 2, F will be there, R. Now what you have to do? DQ or delete. DQ, DQ or delete, delete the first element in a Q. What is that? That is E. Now visit of E will be 1. First you have to make that. Then graph. Right graph also. Now from C it's gone. A, B, D. But due to D, uh, A, B, C, D, am I right? D. And then you are considering E. One minute, one minute. Uh, now you consider D. Right. Now consider E, which is a main graph I am saying. It is main graph. Yeah, E. Right. Now you make visits one. All one. Now this is your present graph. Now what you have to do? Consider. Consider the adjacents of E. 
what is that adjacent of e by graph main graph you can see that is a next uh, that is c then that is g now a is already visited c is already visited g is already in a queue am i right so everything you are going to discard that right are you getting now e is deleted here come to step come to step 7 come to step 7 right now here what you have to do in a step 7 uh, consider the q now q is f and r g 0 and 1 this is f this is r now consider the first vertex dq that that is f so you have dq that from you make f visited as of uh, f will be 1 then what you have to do write a graph c a b d e from d you have made a f correct no or uh, what is the last vertex which you have taken e uh, while doing uh, one minute while doing d you have made that right while doing the d you are born with f and g one minute yeah yeah you take f right now f you have taken for f you find the adjacent vertices for for f what are the adjacent vertices are there uh, d and uh, g so d is already visited here one yes d is already visited left out is g but g is there already in a queue am i right so then what you have to do uh, uh, discard the g go to step 7 finally you should consider g okay g you should make it as now all the elements whatever there in a q are deleted like this you have to do the birth first search so two graphs i have shown you now i will go the program you can see the program just uh, stop here <coughs> one minute again share this share the window yeah bfs share now you can see the flow of the uh, program here how bfs uh, uh, will work very simple see the main program uh, main program is uh, first what you are going to take in vertices before that q you are making the initialize to 0 Uh, q size is almost all 20 and visit of i you are making to zero that we have did all vertices initially it will be zero q empty q will be there that you have to do then you take the um, adjacent matrix for the graph uh, that is zeros and ones you are going to take anyway you know this right now you take the source vertex or a starting vertex for example in first case we have taken a in second case we have taken c now taking that you enter into the function now observe the function how simple the uh, program is for i is equal to 1 starting from a first uh, vertex so i less than or equal to n so what we are going to do we will take a starting vertex if a of vi a of vi is 1 that is from source vertex to the other vertex there is a adjacent edge and is not visited of i that means if it is zero if it is zero then what we are going to do we are going to add first pre increment r we are going to add that to the queue very simple like this we are doing next we are checking if f is less than or equal to r if f is less than or equal to um, r what we are going to do we are going to do uh, visited of see for a for loop 
after doing all adjustments you are putting into the queue um, this is very much important which you have to see your for loop is there here am i right for for loop only one statement will be there here this is important that you have to take only this much now what you are going to do whatever the from source vertex whatever the adjacency vertex is there that all adjacency vertex which where the visited will be zero and uh, if the adjacency is there from the source vertex then you are adding that to the queue means that vertex to the queue and you are incrementing the r everyone initially f is equal to zero and r is equal to minus one same thing we have also did after doing that after we assume for example in uh, uh, the first case uh, what we have did uh, from c we have taken a b uh, d and all we have taken right so taking all that into the queue uh, i will i'll read out the first one starting from c if you take uh, a b c d e all we have taken to the queue so all will be will come to queue here according to that then what we will do then we will compare f is less than r after this for loop keep in your mind after this for loop after adding all the adjacents of the source vertex what we will do we will compare if f is less than r equal to r yes f will, f will be at a starting vertex that means there are elements in a queue uh, in r is somewhere far means there are elements in a queue visited very important visited of q of f is equal to 1 first element we will take and we will make that visited as 1 again we will call that back now source vertex will become a q's first element keep in your mind recursive again source vertex will become a first vertex afterwards increment will be there here of f are you getting now what is the source vertex for example a uh, from c we have taken a b uh, and uh, d e like that we have taken next what will be there a will be there so taking a as an a source vertex again we'll get inside from a we'll check all other vertices that is from a to all other vertices other adjacency is there if it is one first we'll check then afterwards we'll check whether the visited of that uh, uh, corresponding vertex is zero then only we'll add to q otherwise we don't add this is important again what we are going to do again we'll take the uh, f first element f is incremented here that means f has become zero to one now next element will be b now we'll take b as a source vertex now we'll get inside like that uh, we are going to do this is a simple logic what i have did uh, taking a queue into the consider this is a simple logic which we are going to do this in exam if you write this much that is an before this what you have to write initialize uh, visited uh, all to zero and the queue to zero that only you have to do initialize then afterwards you can write this how beautiful the algorithm is see any doubt is there here you can ask any doubt no, any sir. any no, doubt sir. any doubt hey respond man no sir see i repeat once again i'll conclude like this initially first user defined the source vertex we will take and we'll come here from that source vertex what are all the other vertices is there if the vertex is adjacent and visit is zero we'll add to q add to q uh, if if uh, after adding all that is very much important all the adjacent vertices will add to q after adding that then we'll check whether the elements are there in a queue before deleting the first element from a queue we first we should check there are elements are there in a queue yes there are elements in a queue means how the condition if f is less than or equal to r that is the condition yes that is there take out the first element and make that visit as one again take that as a source and again enter into the program again same procedure you apply from that all adjacent vertices you take if it is not visited and there is a adjacent means add to queue after then what you have to do again you should take a first element as a source again you should same thing we have did in a tracing in a last thing right got it everyone yes yeah yes, sir. this is a but the first search program and only one is left out that is prints uh i think afternoon uh, you don't have a class what is there afternoon in extra time table 
No class. Uh, no class, right? Check it once, please. Everyone. <laughs> In extra time table, you check. <coughs> Is it? Yes, sir. Which class? Research. First hour, right? Two hours. Two hours, sir. Two hours, sir. Yeah. Illa ma, one hour ay dano. Ah, two hours. So I'm going to call you 345. Okay, sir. Okay, 335, I will take a class until 430. So I will complete uh, the Prim's algorithm. So syllabus will be completed. Right? Friday, I will do the revision classes. Okay, Pa? Okay, okay sir. Okay. okay, so exactly 330, I will take a class for you. Okay? Okay, sir. Uh, how many are present? 53, what about others? Uh, they don't want, huh? 